Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about the difference between no parking and no stopping road signs. Now you will probably come across these road signs as you are driving and as you are thinking about parking or stopping and it's important to know what the difference is and to be honest with you, I didn't even know what the difference was for like the first 10 years of my driving career. I just actually a few years ago found out about what the difference was and that's why I think that it's important to make this video so that everyone can actually know what the difference is let's get right into the video so no parking basically means that motorists and I have notes down here that's why I'm looking down all the time motorists are only allowed to load or unload people or things and basically that means that um, you are allowed to actually stop the car to unload people or unload things um, but you cannot park there meaning you cannot park the car and get out because when you park the car you know you're staying for an extended period of time and you're probably getting out of the car so it means that you can stop there to load or unload people or things so you want to pick someone up you want to drop someone off you want to pick up an object you want to drop off an object that's okay if there's a no parking sign because and as long as it, I, I don't know about the exact time frame but as long as it's relatively quick I would think that it's it's perfectly okay and I'm not speaking from a legal perspective I'm just telling you what I know as a person that's been driving for many years and that makes many driving videos and that wants to educate people about driving now no stopping on the other hand and I'll summarize it all at the end but no stopping on the other hand is basically that motorists are not allowed to stop unless a traffic situation arises or to pull over for a police officer. So if it says no stopping, you're not allowed to stop unless, you know, if there's slow traffic and you have to come to a stop, that's a completely different story. Obviously, you're not going to keep driving and, and rear end the person in front of you. Um, or if a police officer, um, you know, puts their lights on and asks you to pull over, wants you to pull over, um, then it's okay to stop in a no stopping zone because you're stopping for that police officer, right? Very simple and straightforward. So basically with one of them, you're actually allowed to stop but not park. So you're allowed to stop and not park in a no parking zone and a no stopping zone, you're not allowed to stop. And those signs are there for various reasons, but I just wanted to make this video to outline the what they mean and what to do and like I said I can't speak for like the entire world I can't speak for anywhere anywhere in the world that you might be driving I can only speak for where I live and I would think that the majority of places follow the same type of rule and it's pretty straightforward no parking means you can't park no stopping means you can't stop but in a no parking zone you can stop right so no parking means you can't park but you can stop no stopping means obviously you can't stop and that obviously means within itself that you can't park and that's it i just wanted to make this little video to outline the difference between no parking and no stopping road signs if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching